my own experience that made me become AI pilled, I think. Is, is this the reason you came to open AI? The reason, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when GPT-5 Pro came out, um, I, I met uh, Mark Chen, who works here at OpenAI. He's chief research officer, and he gave me a challenge. He was very proud. He said, you know, why don't you just give it a, a hard problem? And I thought, huh, <laughs> <laughs> you want a hard problem? <laughs> okay. And so I, I gave it this question. Quantum gravity. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I had just found these uh, new symmetries of black holes, which is something that doesn't happen that often. And I'd written up a paper that came out in June on the archive, and I was very happy about that. Um, and I thought, okay, well, let's see how GPT Pro handles this new question. And so I, I gave it the equation. And I didn't say that it has some symmetries. I, did, yeah, I didn't give it a leading question. I just said, what are the symmetries? And it, it thought for five minutes and it said, mm, mm, no symmetries. And I go, ha, <laughs> it's not there yet. Still better than the AI. <laughs> and, and Mark Shen is visibly crestfallen. And he goes, <laughs> okay, well, just, um, just give it an easier question then. And so I think, okay, I'm going to give it the warm up baby version of the problem, which is find the symmetries of this equation, not in the full black hole space time, which is complicated, but in the flat space limit where the space time is empty. Mm -hmm. And hit enter, it thinks for, you know, nine minutes, and it comes back with this beautiful answer. Oh, this equation has conformal symmetry, which is the, the correct thing. And here are the three generators. And it was very beautiful. And, you know, this version of the equation, it, probably has been studied, I'm sure has been studied many times over the decades. So I don't know what it did exactly, but it came up with the answer. And I thought, okay, this is very good. I, you know, this, this is a great outcome. And then Mark said, okay, well, but now that it's been primed on the warm up example, try again in this instance of chat, the harder problem. And I thought, okay, let's go. And so we give it the hard problem again, hit enter, and it thinks and it thinks. And that was the first time I saw it think for so long. I think it took 18 minutes. And it comes out with this beautiful answer. It was completely correct. And that blew my mind because I had been working on this for a very long time. Um, and I would say that that calculation is at the edge of my abilities. 